Hello, everybody. My name is Ian Lamont. I am the author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Today, I'm going to be talking about working with Microsoft Office files within Google Drive. And this is using a special feature of Google Drive within the Chrome browser for Windows or Mac to open up and do limited editing of a Microsoft Word, Excel, or PowerPoint file. Here's how it works. This is Google Drive. Uh, this is in the Chrome browser for Mac, but it will look the same as in the Chrome browser for Windows. And basically what you want to be able to do here is upload a file, such as an Excel file or a Word file, and then edit that file as an Excel file or a Word file. Normally, Drive doesn't let you do that. It will force you, basically, if you want to do any editing, to convert it to another to a, a Google Sheets or a Google Docs file. But this is how you can edit them within Google Drive in their native format. Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, etc. First thing you need to do is you need to add an extension. Um, go to, in Google Chrome, go to Window and choose Extensions, or you can Google it. So extensions are like little software programs that you can attach to Google Drive. And the one that you want is called Office Editing. Whoops, spelled it wrong, Office Editing. Office Editing for uh, Docs, Sheets, and Slides. This is only in the Google Chrome browser. If you don't have, if for instance, if you use Google, Google uh, Drive in Safari or in Firefox or something, you'll see something different. It will look like this. It'll say, uh, you'll see the kind of like the listing for the extension, but it will say available in Chrome. So you really want to do it within Chrome itself. And uh, basically it's designed to work with uh, Chrome, Drive in Chrome. So now that you have it installed, go to new, File Upload. Okay, and you can choose a file. So I'm going to choose this um, this file right here. It's a royalty report. Click Open. So normally, what would happen is it would allow, it would open the file in Google Sheets, but I don't want to do that. I actually want to keep it as an Excel file, and then I, maybe I want to send it to somebody else. So I'm going to click on it once the upload is complete. Notice how it says X here. That means it's an Excel file. So click on that. All right, so here is my here is my spreadsheet. Now, originally when I did this in Excel, I set it up uh, using the subtotal function. So these so these rows are collapsed, and it's creating like a uh, you know a grand total here. It has a a, a simple formula here, basically cell O thirty two divided by two. So interestingly, oops, interestingly. Um, you can you can actually manually alter or create or create uh, new formulas within Office compatibility mode. So this one here it says 1488. If you go here it says cell 032 divided by two. If I wanted to I could just change that to three, and you can see it changed the value. I could also do something like I could type in a new formula. So I'm going to type in uh, average uh, 032 033. And it just gave me the average. I can also do something like I can change the number formatting. So I can go to format, number format, and change the number to currency. Okay, currency symbol. If I wanted to, I could do euro or yen or whatever. Uh, and I'm going to do decimal places too. But this is kind of weird because normally in Excel or even Google Sheets, you don't do things with these little pop-up menus. So I just did it there, but you may be saying, well, why can't I do that within the, uh, the, the, uh, the menu bar here? Because usually in Google Sheets, you do see the different formulas like auto sum, or you can quickly change the number formats. But in Office compatibility mode, uh, using this particular Chrome extension, the, the options are really very limited for editing. Like you can do simple text changes, number changes. You can, you can manually type in a formula um, simple formulas, and you can alter values to alter formulas, but you can't use, there's no toolbar to make things easier. And, you know, that's one of the limitations of this type of software. It doesn't really do everything you want to do in Excel or in Microsoft Word or PowerPoint, but it lets you do the basics, which may be enough. So I've just made some simple changes. Then if I wanted to, I could share it with somebody else or I could download it. So I could download a version of the Excel file, and then I could like email that off to somebody or uh, do something similar. So uh, basically the process works the same for um, any type of, of uh, Office file, such as uh, Microsoft Word or PowerPoint or Excel. If you do decide that you want to convert it 
to the equivalent Google format, you just go to File, Save as Google Sheets, or Save as Google Docs, or whatever. For more information on how to get the most out of Google Drive, Docs, Sheets, and Slides, I've written a book about it. It's available from in30minutes.com. My name is Ian Lamont. Thank you so much for watching.